Yes. I uh, I like watching horror movies. You know, I like thrillers the most. Those are my favorite type of movies. And you know, I go on Apple sometimes. I see the movies I could rent. Sometimes I go on Amazon Prime and I see the bullshit bad movies I can watch that like Eric Roberts were in in 1990. And if he's got a machine gun, I mean, dude, if I see a movie and the cover is Eric Roberts and he's holding some sort of gun, dude, try to get me not to click on that and sit down for two hours. Just try. The bigger the gun, the quicker the click. Um, So I'm surfing around. I'm with my friend David Sullivan. He's the one who has the Andrew Jackson hair. By the way, it gets recognized from the vlogs we do on Tour Report. And uh, if you go to my Chris Leah channel and subscribe, like and subscribe. By the way, like and subscribe here, guys. Uh, we're still stuck at f 596. And uh, we're trying to, you know, there's a conspiracy going on. They're keeping us, keeping us thwarted. But so I'm sur searching around on the Apple shit. And I see this movie. And it's called. Now, if you've seen this movie, you know where this is going. But you probably have not seen this movie. Okay. It's called Speak No Evil. I look at the cover. It's just like a, a sunset and there's like shadowy figures in the distance. And I'm like, huh, what's this about? So I Google it. Let me Google it because I want to... Wait, no. What, not see no evil. Speak no evils, right? Yeah, speak no evil. Um, a day, And I read... A Danish family. Now I'm I'm already hooked because those Danes, dude, the Danish the Danish people, just already I'm in because it's if it, this is a thriller, I love it because Danish people you don't really think about them being okay so okay but maybe they're extra weird with the okay. A Danish family visits a Dutch family and then I go oh okay, in this case, two weirds connect. Gunk. Key. Lock it. Throw it away. To get out of the room, I got to call that guy who's talking about white dudes in jail taking it up the anus. So I am locked in this room with the idea of a Danish family going to visit a Dutch family. And I think that this is a thriller. So I go, David, found it. And he goes, what, man? He was probably sleeping because he's always fucking tired or eating. And I read the rest of the synopsis. I say, read this. A Danish family visits a Dutch family. They met on a holiday. What was supposed to be... Now, that's where I'm cemented. If I see the word, what was supposed to be in a title, I know shit goes wrong in a movie. I know I thought one thing, and not only did I think one thing, but the people in the movie thought one thing, and I know something crazy is about to happen, but the people in the movie don't, and I'm a step ahead of the people in the movie. I know some secrets, right? So it says, what was supposed to be an idyllic weekend slowly starts unraveling as the Danes start, uh, as the Danes try to stay, and I got to click on the thing, God damn it. Um, as the Danes try to stay polite in the face of unpleasantness, dude. And I'm just like, but a thriller? I go like this. So this movie is about... People, Danish people, this is the tagline. This is the synopsis they chose. The Danes try to stay polite in the face of unpleasantness. They didn't say during this harrowing adventure. They didn't say from the Dutch's terrifying them they said they try to stay polite in the face of unpleasantness now what is unpleasantness now i'm thinking what are the things that are unpleasant bad breath uh you know um nausea a window's open and it's too cold and you don't want to get up to close it right and i'm like that doesn't sound so great to watch a movie about, but this is in the thriller category? So I'm hooked, dude. 
Now you got a Dane, a Dutch, and two Americans sitting pretty, dude, from jump. So I turn it on. And when I tell you, now, I'm watching the movie. This is what the movie's about. And I'm not going to ruin this movie for you because I guess this is in a way me reviewing this movie. And I think this is an important thing to talk about on the podcast. I know it's not just another movie review, but I'm watching the movie and it starts with this tone of terror, right? And what I mean by that is it's just showing a guy at a pool with his wife and another guy shows up at the resort and says, hey, our, it points to the chair with the guy's stuff on it and says, can I uh, use this chair? You're using it. And the guy goes like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah, okay. And takes his stuff off, gives the guy the chair. Now, he obviously didn't want to do it, but he was being polite. And, and that's just something that we all deal with. So I go like this. Oh, I'm in this movie in a way. But the music and the score is music and score that would be in a horror movie. So I'm like, but a thriller though? Guys, is asking him for his chair. Dude, when I, and if you're a fan of mine, you know if I see some shit like this, I'm all in, dude. Right? The movie continues for an hour and a half. And it's just this kind of shit that happens for an hour and 20 minutes. Like the girl says she's a vegetarian and they invite them to hang out with them later on in the year and they stay at this cabin with them on a holiday and they're like, the first thing they do is like, you got to try this boar. And she's like, no, that's okay. And he's like, nah, try it, try it. And he basically like, you know, it's a suggestion, but he's like kind of forcing it. And she's like, okay. And she eats it. And, and this happened for an hour and a half, these weird things that are happening with the fucking music that would be in like, you know... Sicario, not a horror movie, but like, uh, you know. Like that shit. And I look over to David like 40 minutes in and, I'm like, and I say to him, and I'm on the edge of my seat. I say to him, I was like, why is this so, how is this terrifying? Nothing is happening. And I'm like scared. And he goes like this. Boy, I don't know, man. It's just really unnerving, you know? And I was like, it is unnerving. He says, really unnerving, man. And we keep saying it for the next, it's unnerving, man. It's really unnerving. I was like, it is unnerving, isn't it? And I sit, and it's an hour into the movie, and I go like this. This movie, I hope it holds up through the end. Because this movie, is if this keeps going, it's a masterpiece. And I'm not, I, dude, I don't say movies or songs or shit are masterpieces. I am so hooked in on this movie and it's so good and I relate to it so much, but also it's terrifying and they're just chilling. I don't get it. Now, I'm not ruining this movie, but an hour and 30 minutes into the movie, something happens in the movie that's a scene and it is the most, and I say this not lightly. It is the most horrific thing I have ever seen in cinema. It is so, I, I dare to say, traumatizing. It's so bad. For me, I'm 42. People get trauma when they're like four. I think it traumatized me on 42. And I go like this. Yo, David. Hey, David, tell me what happens. I'm out for about a minute and a half. And he's watching it. He stands up, puts his hand on his head. He goes, oh, no, man. Oh, no. And I say, what's happening? And he says, exactly what you think's happening, man. And I say, I actually don't think it's happening because no movie would ever have this happening. And he says, well, it's happening, man. And he sits down and I look at his face before I see the movie and I look and his face is even whiter than it fucking is normally. And he's from fucking Texas. And I say, are you kidding me? I have trauma now. We rode out to the end of the movie and I did not watch the part that I turned my head in. And at the end, also something at the end, end something really weird happens too that I had to turn my head for a little bit. But my point is this, 
I get mad. I get mad at this movie because I'm like, man, I was watching this whole thing and I was into it and I don't want to have to see this horrific thing. I'm a dad now. I can't watch this shit. And I'm mad. And then I realize I'm mad because what the fuck, man? These people who are going through all this weird shit, they should have just fucking said something. They should have left the fucking house. But I wasn't, you know, being like a black person in the movie theater like, no, don't go in there. I was keeping it inside. And if they just said something, I wouldn't fucking have to see that bullshit. And I'm just so invested, man. And maybe black people have it right, dude, because they're saying this shit. And these people got into this predicament because they weren't saying shit. They just let shit happen and keep happening. And that's why this movie is this fucking most terrifying movie I've ever seen. Because these people didn't, didn't do what they know they should have done, dude. And for that reason, this movie is still one of the best movies I've ever seen in my entire life. I will say that one scene is so horrific that I wish I didn't see the movie. That's how, that's how horrific that scene is. And this is how good the movie is. And fuck, man, Kristen Tafdrup, the director of this movie, you are one fucked up dude. And you know it. And you know it because you made two other movies that are fucking extremely fucked up. Lines. And I watched another one too because of my OCD. I had to watch the next one the next day. And it's called A Horrible Woman. And obviously you have some demon issues, but I had to watch it because, you know, and I fucking love that movie. And you got another one, Parents. It's called Parents. And these parents go and they fucking have go, whatever. You fucking look it up. But that's the scariest thing in life is not saying and doing the shit that you wish you would have done. And that coupled with this hor- horror made it, I mean, this guy, the way it unfolds, holy shit. So I am telling you two things. It is without a doubt, and I've sat with this movie for days already, so I know it's true, because usually I don't decide if I like a movie or not right away. I have to let it sit with me. This is one of, without a doubt, one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. And I am also telling you, don't watch it. Crazy, 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 crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy